Just a couple of gals playing. No, we're not going that way, ma'am. Just a couple of gals playing in the snow. You gotta pee on every single spot, Bindi, really. Yeah! Nothing like untouched snow. Gorgeous. Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday to you. So I got my sister some flowers for her birthday, and then I realized they're primroses. So I wanted to get back into the habit of talking about the books that I'm reading before I finish them, rather than just a little wrap up at the end. So I'm currently reading Kingdom of Sc Kingdom of Scars, oh my god. King of Scars by Leigh Bardugo. Doesn't have the dust jacket on it, but <laughs> it doesn't need it. I've been slowly working my way through this one because I really want to read it physically instead of just caving and getting the audiobook because all I've been doing lately is listening to audiobooks. But I've just had such a hard time lately staying focused on a book and not getting distracted either by, you know, my phone, the internet, my own dumbass mind. I think part of it's just like the mood that I've been in lately and it hasn't been a great mood but you know we're suffering through it. But I am about halfway through this one. I'm enjoying it. It's pretty good. Not my favorite Lee Bardugo. I wouldn't say it's like Six of Crows level. I love reading about Nikolai again. I think the one thing that sort of puts this down just a little is that there are three perspectives in this. There's Nikolai of course, Zoya, and Nina. And so far Nikolai and Zoya have always been together during their chapters so they're working on similar things whereas Nina is not with them. So when you switch from one of Zoya or Nikolai's chapters to Nina, it is a little bit of a shift and kind of not taking me out of the story necessarily, but it's like jumping to this completely different thing that I haven't seen a crossover. Like I don't see how it connects and how this is all gonna play out in the big picture. I will say though that when I actually sit and read this, I do get invested in it. So I just have to fight through my own dumbass brain. It's hard to talk about this book because I think anything you say will be a spoiler for either the Grisha trilogy and potentially Six of Crows. So all I'll say for like the plot of this is that it follows Nikolai who is having some interesting problems that he needs to figure out in order to be a well put together king. I'm gonna leave it at that. Good morning bikini battle. Today is a, oh my god I look like a founding father. Today is a very exciting day because the Chick-fil-A in my town is finally open. They've been building it for a couple months and I've been screaming for a couple months. I have never been to Chick-fil-A because we didn't have one but obviously I've heard the world talk about her. I've dreamt about her as a chicken stand so I am very excited to try it for the first time today. I'm particularly excited to try the lemonade because I've heard very good things about it and I'm a lemonade stan. It's also gonna be crazy as heck there because like I said opening day. But you know, gotta do it for the chicken, y'all. Sorry to the vegans and vegetarians watching this. Look at all the goddamn people that are here for Chick-fil-A's. Oh my god, they have like- They have people out there. They have people- Oh my- That's the drive-thru That's through the drive-thru line? Oh my god. Oh okay, gotta go to my to get to there. god. We That's might not be eating until 6 p.m. We are approaching the Chick-fil-A. Here we go, y'all. Are you excited for Chick-fil-A? Have you ever had Chick-fil-A? Yes. I haven't. A little bit. The line literally goes through a door, so that's fun. So we survived. Now, I haven't tasted this lemonade yet, so I want to do it on camera. So here we go. My first taste of Chick-fil-A lemonade. Oh my god. It tastes like the lemonade that you get at fairs where they make it like fresh. 10 out of 10. It's a little pulpy, but I don't mind. We'll try the rest when we get home. I don't think anyone actually cares about my Chick-fil-A experience, but. <laughs> Alrighty friends, it's taste test time. So first, just cause they're here, the waffle fry. Solid fry. Now we have the nugs. Ooh, they are little, little babies. So we have the two recommended sauces by Miss Woody Novels, the Chick-fil-A sauce and the Polynesian sauce. So first, Miss Chick-fil-A. She kind of looks like cheese, but I know it's not. Mmm. Not bad, Miss Polynesian. Mm, I think Miss Polynesian might be the winner here. A little ketchup, my favorite sauce. Good experience, five out of five. I don't know if I would take one of these sauces over ketchup, just because I'm a ketchup stan, but these are pretty good sauces. This concludes this random interlude of me trying Chick-fil-A for the first time. We're supposed to be reading. This is how our 24-hour readathon is going. My name is Paul Nessie. And mine's Look at the garbage in the background. Beautiful. 
Hi friends, so if you didn't gather this from the last clip, Whitney wanted to do a 24 hour readathon today and she asked me to do it with her. So I said, I guess. 24 hour readathons are not usually my thing just because I like to sleep for like 10 hours of those 24. But a bench has been really off her reading game lately. So you know, I think a 24 hour readathon is just what I need. We started it at 1.30 in the afternoon and now it's 6.30 at night. So we're five hours in. I've read maybe a hundred pages. Is not really, <laughs> but close. I am now on page 332, Kingdom of Scars. I know this bitch should not just say Kingdom of Scars again. Oh my God. Still working my way through this one. I've just been giving my time lately to movies because I've been watching basically a movie every single day, except for today, just so that I could get all the best picture noms in and tomorrow is the us. Girls, and I'm so excited to see Lady Gaga and Bradley Cooper sing Shallow. Took a little break from reading to watch an episode of The Vampire Diaries while I ate my dinner. Have I mentioned on a vlog yet that I've been watching The Vampire Diaries? I have. It's my next, you know, trashy teen watch on Netflix. Have a big old thread about it on Twitter. I'm on season six, episode three. It's super trashy, but I'm super trash for it. But uh, back to, you know, reading. Finished my food. I finished my episode. I'm gonna get back into this and hopefully finish it soon six hours later so it is much later now and i am literally about to fall asleep but i finished king of scars i think i'm going to give this four stars overall by the halfway point and even a little bit before that this was definitely so freaking interesting the plot of this had me shaking again and again and again however it did take a little while to get there the beginning didn't quite have me hooked in the way I wanted it to, which made getting through that first half a little bit of a slow progress. But once I got through it, oh my god. It was so good. I absolutely loved returning to these characters. I would die for all of them. This had me really emotional from beginning to end. I'm gonna mention something that's a Crooked Kingdom spoiler, so skip to this time if you don't want to be spoiled. Basically, every time Mina talked about Matthias and how she was missing him and how she would kind of hear his voice in her head, I was so emotional. I know it's an unpopular opinion because I don't know, you're all demons. But Matthias, I love him. And if you don't, that must suck because Nina loved him. So you should too. I'm really excited to see where the next book in this duology, I think it's duology, goes. I think it's just gonna be so good at first when I was getting to the end of this and we were wrapping things up and I was like, well, how is it really gonna take off in the next one? And then we got to the end and I was like, I just, I feel like I have to say something about the ending. So if you haven't read King of Scars, skip to this point. <sighs> when they brought out that bitch ass little monk and it wasn't the monk. I'm like, not this shit again. <sighs> the motherfucking darling. Just makes me think of that one video where it's like, not you. Not you. you know what? I ain't even mad about it. I'm gonna get to watch this motherfucker die again. And it's gonna be a good time. We're gonna, we're gonna toast, we're gonna have some wine. Actually, I hate wine, so we'll have like champagne. Y'all just think about how somewhere Lena's just like off minding her own business and like she picks up a newspaper and she's like, are you kidding me? Not this bitch again. You're my honey bun sugar plum, puppy wumpy yum bit. You're my sweetie pie. You're my schmuckin, 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 schmuckin. I don't know all the lyrics. I know I keep talking about my dog, but do you see how freaking cute she is? Does she know that I would die for her? Look at those sleepy face. Oh my god. It's one of my favorite nights of the year. I don't know why I keep singing. It's Oscars night, baby. We got our cheese and crackers and grapes, champagne, our productions. Woo, are you excited, Bindi? For the Oscars, are you excited? Oh, yes. Look at that big yawn. So excited. Oh my god. 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 Look at them. They look so good. In this modern world, I'm falling. Why am I literally crying? Oh my god. Oh my god, look at her. Oh my god. Oh my god. Gaga, yes, queen. Tell me something, boy. Vlogging for change. Watch as I dive in, I'm in the ground. 
Oh my god, she's gonna do it. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh. Oh. Oh my god. Oh no, he's going over to her. Oh my god, I'm gonna kill myself. Oh my god, no. <gasps> Look at my parents. Oh my god. I know Gaga's not gonna win this award, but just in case, you know. Going close. <gasps> Whoa! Holy shit! Hey sisters! I don't remember the last time I filmed a clip. I think it was when I was badly singing Shallow. It's been a minute since then, but I have an update for a book that I read. Who's proud of me? I read another book, y'all. I'm gonna be real. Mental health, she hasn't been great lately. Bindi, I'm trying to film a clip. She looks so cute, dude. Look at her. Like, can I help you? <laughs> anyway, I was talking about books. Michelle Obama knows about booktube now. Oh my god, I hope she sees my video. Actually, I hope she doesn't. But uh, I read The Last of August by Brittany Cavallaro, which is the second in the Charlotte Holmes series. Um. Rocky, if you're watching, this is where you stop. I gave her two and a half stars. Here's the thing. I'm a little conflicted because there are parts of this that I really enjoyed. I really liked Jamie and Charlotte's relationship. I liked seeing them more as characters. I like the development. We get a little section narrated by Charlotte in this book and I really enjoyed that. I think their angst is a little much at points, but it's also built on their inner demons and like the things that they need to get over over in order to have this whatever is between them and I really liked that I really enjoy these characters and I am gonna continue with this series despite this low rating because I'm still interested here's the problem if you asked me to tell you the plot of this book I can't literally have no idea what was happening like the entire time there's a bit on art forgery that was interesting I like the you know the underground world of that that was interesting to read about but how exactly it related to these characters as a whole and the like last 30 pages of this book specifically I was like Huh? Listening on audiobook definitely didn't help, so I, like I wouldn't recommend it. But even when I'd go in and read passages physically, I'd still be like, I don't know what's going on. And I'm sure some people maybe like that. I like that at points when it's like done well. Like the Mara Daya trilogy, mm, she did the what the fuck is going on thing so well. This book, not so much. I'm just confused. And I thought it was just like me and my one brain cell, and I was like gonna be embarrassed to have to admit this. But then I was reading other people's reviews on Goodreads, and they were also like I have no idea what's going on so it's not just me it's the book which makes me makes me feel better honestly yet for some reason it still leaves me wanting to know more I don't know what's going on but I want to know more which doesn't make any sense but I guess that's something that it did good that's all I have to say about that I am going to end this vlog here because it's been a hot minute thanks for watching see you in my next video bye